Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Infinite Lock. It's your boy Eric, and today we have another G Friend reaction. We have choreography videos, though. We have the Mago dance practice, and then we have the Apple dance practice. Um, again, the calling card of G Friend, you know, from what I've heard, it's always been their synchronization um, with their dancing, a lot of elegance, a lot of execution. Um, so, you know, you guys know how I feel about choreography. Um, so that's definitely something I want to get into, especially with, you know, what's going on with the Queendom and everything, um, with the BBC, 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 um, I always just, just forget, like, how to pronounce the name, um, but, you know, with, um, Umji, Unha, and Sinbi, um, you know, taking on the Queendom stage and everything and, and I think they're performing you know G Friend stuff is I felt like it was only right to jump back into a G Friend reaction so we got the Mago dance practice and then we got the Apple dance practice so let's jump into Mago first before we get into the video make sure you guys like comment subscribe turn your post notifications on got a lot of stuff coming your way and uh yeah let's jump into Mago dance practice <laughs> Is Sin be practicing Rick Owens? Wow, she's got money. Oh, I don't know if I've said before. I I believe Sin B is my buy. Like I said, I still need to react to more G Friend, but I think when they were G Friend as a group, Sin B is my bias. However, Yuju is like bias 1b like there's it's like 1a and 1b with simbi and 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 yuju because yuju is just look at her you know i rest my case <laughs> just look at her Ah, uh, my love is waiting for you. Let's shoot. Uh, 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 uh. I still don't know where that melody is from. Tick tock, tick tock, hey, my girl, my girl, my girl. Hey, hey. So Yuju, she is so captivating, bro. Nah, 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 I was waiting for you. I know Unha has black hair now and is short, but she looks so, so different. She's like a whole different person right now. They moving like one person. This is crazy. Oh, that's dope. The footwork. Oh, that kick was crazy.
So that was G-Friend with the Mago dance practice. Um, super, super talented. Um, you can tell, I feel like you can just see through the music how close they are as a group um, because you don't get that level of synchronization through false friendship. Um, you know what I mean? Like they just, I'm sure, you know, they've been together so long, so that plays a factor as well, but it's just... That, that, that doesn't necessarily make that type of execution, you know what I mean? They definitely have a very, very nice um, synchronization amongst the members to create that synchronization on the stage, you know what I mean? Um, Sinbi definitely is a little bit more cleaner. I, they're all clean like they're all synchronized but I'll, I'll say Simbi just hits her movements a little harder than everybody else and with a little bit more like sass kind of um again she looks she looks the most like she looks like a they all look like professional dancers but Simbi looks like she has a little bit of like street dance thrown into that like hip-hop dance thrown into that if that makes sense like she just has a little extra like sauce um they all are like i feel like in a group like this this is a group where the their lesser talented dancers would be top tier dancers in other groups like, I just feel like this is one of those types of groups for that um, again uh, they each have a different type of like aura that they give off but they all move as one which is so amazing to me that that is even possible um, so let's get into Apple like I said I have reactions to both of the MVs so go check that out um, Apple was another song that I enjoyed from them it was very ethereal very different um, so let's jump into it. Amazing. Loves him being red hair. Hey, hey, hey. They have so much elegance in their choreo. Oh, how they pair it up like that. They travel a lot in, in, in their choreography. Like they travel from, they're using the entire, the entire floor. Each member is, has touched almost every part of the floor at least once. Hey, hey, oh that's smooth. That's so hard to do, how they just back up like that without even looking. Like, look at Yuju. She doesn't even look. She knows that there's going to be a gap for her to get through. There's so much trust. Yeah, it's just something about Simbi that just screams like street dancer. 
with elegance. That's a little different from everybody else. She just seems like she has a little bit more versatility as a dancer. Oh, that's clean. That's what I'm saying. They go from front to back and back to front rotations. You see how, cl look how close, I think is that so on? Look how close they are. They like just barely miss each other. Look how close Simbi and so on are. Like what? The precision, no wasted movements. Like, so that was G friend with the Apple dance practice. Um. Again, like I said, there's there's no wasted movements at all. Um, whoever's in the front, they know they don't even think about it when they have whenever they have to go. Like you know, a lot of times I feel like when groups are rotating from front to back, especially um, boy groups, they look, they try to give glances, they look, you know, just to make sure they don't run into anybody, step on any feet, twist any ankles. G friend and these two dance practices, they don't even look like they just back up into their and in, back into the new formation. And I think that that speaks to the synchronization and how on point they are because and that's something small, because when you're watching a lot of dance practices, I feel like just just uh, just the everyday viewer, you're going to feel like everybody is is, you know, the same level. But those types of differences are what really separates you know the top tier synchronized groups from like you know a solid you know synchronized group like the fact they don't even have to look it it, it helps them stay in rhythm they don't have to worry about you know speeding up to catch up to the song or anything they don't miss any beats there's no wasted movement um and i think again that's on the job of whoever's coming from the back because they can see um what's going on so they have to leave that gap leave that space but like they're literally like brushing like brushing right past each other it's absolutely amazing um that they're just that precise with their movements and they know that there's not going to be any mishaps or anything because they trust the talent level and the ability of all the members um yeah super super talented group um it's a shame that I found out about them after they, you know, disbanded. But um, I'm happy that, you know, uh, I like Yuju's debut and I like uh, that Simbi, Unhan, Umji are in Queendom and have then debuted as, you know, new group. Um, you know, let me know what everybody else is doing. I'm not 100 percent sure about what the entire group is up to, what solo activities they're all up to now. Um, but yeah, I definitely can see why they are so acclaimed in terms of, you know, their dance prowess and everything like that. They keep that elegance going, but they still, they don't fall, they don't slack. I think a lot of times when that, when you have elegant dance and stuff like that, sometimes it's hard to keep up with the rhythm of the song because you're trying to be smooth and, you know keep that you know slow type of movement but they they are so precise and they get after it so very very much appreciated both of those so before you guys go make sure you guys like comment subscribe turn your post notifications on got a lot of stuff coming your way and uh yeah till next time